Okay, the next problem will be this. Okay. At an average temperature of 100 degrees centigrade, hot air flows through a 2.5 long tube meter long tube with an inside diameter of 50 mm. The temperature of the tube is 20 degrees centigrade along its entire length. Convective film coefficient is 20.1 watt per meter squared Kelvin. Determine the convective heat transfer from air to the tube. Okay, from air to the tube. Okay. Let's do it. Then. Okay. Let's do this. So first we're going to have a drawing so we may be able to visualize the problem and what was the problem asking for it to solve for us to solve. Okay, we have a pipe. There you go. And here is where the air flows, hot gas or hot air with a temperature of 100 degrees centigrade. We may indicate a letter. So let's indicate as T1. Okay. T1. Next, uh, the length of the tube is 2.5 meters. 2.5 meters. And the diameter is 50 mm, millimeter or equivalent to. 0.05 meters okay so what was left is the convective film coefficient which is equal to 20.1 watt meter squared kelvin so what formula will we we will be going to use for this kind of problem we can use the formula of a uh, q which is heat is equal to the film convection convective film coefficient hc multiplied by the area of this and of course the change in temperature so we have this we do have this yes we do have this because we have a uh, 20 degrees along its interland the temperature okay we will go into call that as t2 so 20 degrees centigrade okay we have that and this and the heat flows perpendicular to the flow of air Q. so how are we going to get the area of this so as you can see we have the geometrical shape of a cylinder so if we're going to cut it through here and spread it like this we will going to have a shape of rectangle and the area for that is equal to length times width and for this case the length of our the width of our rectangle is equal to the circumference of this tube which is equal to pi d and this is equal to 2.5 where d is equal to 0 0.05 meters so the area is now equal to pi multiplied by 0 0.05 multiplied by 2.5 and it's now equal to Pi multiply by 0 0.05 by 2.5 and the area must be equal to 0 0.39267 meter square and now that we all have the numbers let's put them together this change of t must be equal to t1 minus t2 do not use kelvin you gonna die so Q is now equal to HC 20.1 watt 
meter squared Kelvin multiply by the area itself 0.3927 meter squared and the temperature which is 100 minus 20 but this is in degrees centigrade would that thing make an effect if the unit here is Kelvin the answer is no it's still the same you can search for that okay so this change of t is equal to change of k so 20.1 multiply by 0.3927 multiply by 100 minus 20 do not forget the parenthesis sign because this thing has a great impact on your equation so the total heat transfer is 631.46 watts okay